Hey guys and welcome, my name is Derek and today I just want to make a quick video on how you could install Battle for Middle Earth on your computer. Um, if you have Windows 7, I have Windows 7, so that's the only know, uh, only way I know it. It's a great game, it's awesome. Uh, first of all, the version I play is I have the Battle for Middle Earth Anthology, which is first game, uh, Battle for Middle Earth 2, and Battle for Middle Earth Rise of the Witch King, which is really good. The expansion is better than the main game, I think. And, well, I looked, you can buy it on Amazon, but people post it for like hundreds of dollars, which is ridiculous. I picked it up at half price books for five bucks. Uh, if you have something like that, I mean, I'm sure you can, it's not worth $150. Um, I'm sure you can get it cheaper someplace else. But if you just install it on Windows 7, at least, it did not work for me. You have to do uh, some, some works first, so... First thing is you want to install the official patch. So this patch is done by EA, so there's no problem installing this. It's version 1.03. I'm sure there's some fan patches out there, but I want to deal with that. So yeah, update it to version 1.03. It's just going to be a file like this. You can double click on it. And then what else you need is you need uh, Windows Vista. At least that did not work for me. It might work for some people. But you need the uh, Battle for Middle Earth uh, 1 and 2. Vista compatibility fix. And now again, if, uh, this one is a fan thing, so I mean, be mindful when you download stuff like this. Uh, stuff could break, so be careful. But all this does is, so, so what the problem is, until it starts, it won't uh, load up um, the option files, basically. And I don't know what exactly the problem is, if it's the resolution or something like this, because it only supports up to uh, 1280 times 960. So if you have a 1080p monitor like I do, that might be the issue. But what you basically have to do is, you have to go to your users, um, so in case you don't know how to do this, go to your web windows installed users to your local profile, and then it's hidden where you have to go. You have to go up here, just click on it, do backslash, App data. Again, do all of this on your own risk. I mean, I don't think you can break anything doing this, but you can probably break if you try to do more. Uh, go to the app data and then go to roaming. Uh, look for my battle for Miller Earth files. And you wanna, if you download this, just Google this. If you download this, um, all it will extract is instructions and the option files. And this is the option files that Battle for Miller Earth will use. So it will, you know, you want health bars on, you want all this. So this is what it downloads. And I think this is the setting that that, that it really needs, it's a resolution. Because otherwise it will try to put on your monitor resolution, but the game doesn't support it if it's higher. So maybe all you have to do is do the options, make a, you know, make a new text file, name it options and put in... Uh, the resolution here. That might work. But yeah, this is basically what you need. If you don't want to download something you don't trust, uh, you can, you know, pause this video and copy all this. I mean, you don't need the GameSpy IP address. Uh, whatever. And... Yeah. After this, game should work. You have to have the CD in, but you can download a crack by now, I guess. But that... I wouldn't download it because you never know what's in there. Yeah, and then hopefully it will work for you guys. If not, um, you're just gonna have to Google a little bit more. This is what worked for me, and I think it's mostly because of the resolution. All right, guys. Hope you can play this game if you have it, because it's awesome. And you can turn up the music, which I cannot do on YouTube, but it's the original music from the original movies. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any troubles. Maybe I can help. Thanks.